Hello friends, it's Deja. Today I'm going to be talking about vampires everywhere and of my cinnamon and yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I got. You're probably going to hear a bunch of craziness in the background because they're playing Xbox and my little brothers are just running around. So the first thing I'm going to talk about I think is vampires everywhere. Quick background on them real quick because for some reason in my other videos when I address the issue and before the band, people don't think I don't know what I'm talking about. So vampires everywhere, they're from California. First time, first time I heard about them was on the Secret Ceremony Tour, which was like pretty much late 2010, maybe early 2011. And I think it was like before they released a two-song EP. I forgot the title of the EP. I wasn't a big fan at the time. Not really right now. And I heard them, and then I thought they were, I could like them, but I would listen to the songs over and over again. It was like a little bit too much auto-tune. Wasn't really into that. Their full length album came out later, I think probably like 2011, maybe. And um, I wasn't, I didn't really like that either because auto tune abuse, I'm not really with that. There's so many other bands that have like something better to listen to. I don't know, it just wasn't for me. Vampires Everywhere fans, you probably are not gonna like this video. And I'm not saying that because, oh, I'm speaking the truth and you can't handle it. It's just my opinions and that's okay. So, um, I really wasn't going to check out this newest album that they current they just released called Hellbound and Heartless. But the vocalist of one of my favorite bands, Alex Kohler from Chelsea Grin, said to check it out. So I guess I had to. So I did. And uh, at first I really wasn't impressed, but I was glad that they dropped the whole auto-tune abuse thing and there's been a lot of controversy I guess with like the fact that this, everyone thinks it's a copying Marilyn Manson it's quiet I don't know it's a copying Marilyn Manson and I think it's it's because like I don't know like you see like the white makeup you see the dark all the dark stuff, and I really think that their look is amazing. By the way, I'm into the whole doll thing, and like, there's so many metalcore bands that are like exactly the same, but you don't hear um, what you don't hear Moshe's and White copying Asking Alexandria. You don't hear like I don't know, Bullet for Pretty Boy, or uh, of Mice and Men copying I don't know, like Moss to Flame. They're all pretty much the same genre, and it's all it's all singing and screaming. And I'm when I first heard the music, I'm like, I'm glad that they're not doing the whole metalcore thing. And it's something different. People need something different to listen to, otherwise it's just gonna be bored. And on to the next band. So, and then I heard listened to one of their interviews, and Michael was talking about how it would be refreshing, and I totally agree with that. Um, I saw the music video that they, I think it was like Drug of Choice, that was, I like, I wasn't, I didn't really like that song, but I did like the music video, I like the aesthetics of it, very nice, the first couple of seconds when Michael's just, it, I like it. Um, at first, really, at first I didn't think I could like them, listen to one song, and then I just figured I should just listen to it's some more, like, listen to a couple more songs, see if I don't, see if I like it or not. Because the first couple songs I heard by Song Reverse, I didn't like. But I have a couple songs on my phone, so obviously you just have to find what you like best. I think I like, I really like the cover of R Rape Me. I like Beauty Queen and Amanda's song and uh, just a few others. I mean, not all of it's going to be for me. And then I heard Michael said that. There's a little bit something for everybody that touch on a lot of different topics, so just to find what you like best. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done talking about vampires everywhere. Of uh, mice and men. Okay, so, um, everyone knows Sh- Sh- Shizen? Everyone knows that Shaley's gone, like I talked in my addressing of mice and men video. So, he's gone, and at first I thought, when I heard the depth, I thought maybe it's just going to be Austin doing his thing. I'm like, that's going to be good. Listen to that. Right? Until there's a bunch of Twitter drama, maybe like a week or two ago, 
about how the newest, uh, like the newest edition, I guess. I'm not sure if it's like a special member, maybe just doing a couple like tracks. I don't know, but I'm not even sure he's on Warp Tour with them. This guy named Aaron from Jamie's Elsewhere. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. I feel like I'm unprepared for this topic, but maybe someone else watching this video knows, knows more than I do and they can enlighten me. Yeah, so, yeah, Aaron from Jamie's Elsewhere. Like, I heard Jamie's Elsewhere when I was listening to, like, heard him on a bunch of different, like, Pandora radio stations. I listened to them, and I liked them, but I never, like, checked them out after besides a couple of songs that I heard on Pandora. And, of course, you know, he's not Shaylee, but, I mean, he's a good singer, so it's not a total loss. So I'm just wondering, is, like, is his voice going to be on the reissue of The Flood? Or, and then I heard that, like, on the collection, or however you say it, like, the Warp Tour CD 2012, it's, like, is his voice on that track, or is it Shaylee's? I have no idea. I feel like I'm so unprepared for this topic. I I, I made this channel, or I'm, I, I like making these videos because I feel like I'm addressing and I'm educating and I'm saying stuff straight, but instead I'm just asking questions. So I'm just going to end this video before I ramble on a little bit more. Um, check out my other videos about me addressing different topics about bands and what's happening. Um, I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure if this is worth pouring in there. Blacklisted Me fans. I like Blacklisted Me. They recently got signed to 11.7 Records, I think. Oh my god, I'm terrible. I'm, I'm slacking in this media stuff. I can get, get with it, but it's kind of hard because of the Wi-Fi. I don't have any Wi-Fi. I'm just going to stop talking. Watch my other videos, um, or not. Comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Until next time, bye. <laughs>